Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you guys are looking for the best and most honest how-tos and reviews from a consumer's perspective, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. Say came out with six shades of their brand new lip blur. So the finish is supposed to be a soft matte hydrating lipstick. I'm really excited to dive into these, but first let Let's read some of the specs that they have on their website. These retail for $24. You can buy them on Say's website, but you can also purchase them on Sephora's website. I'm not quite sure if they're in stores at Sephora, but I purchased mine online at Sephora. It says on here, it's the coveted effortless French girl lip look done the Say way. The first clean matte lipstick that's long wearing, shine free and hydrating. Lip blur is packed with a blend of nourishing ingredients, including hyaluronic acid, olive oil, jojoba esters, and berry fruit wax to condition the lips and blend seamlessly. My favorite types of lipsticks are the traditional bullet lipstick. I feel like they wear really nicely on the lips. They fade the best out of all of like the lipstick products that you can get. Um, and I don't know, they're just more comfortable for me. So here we have the bullets. They are this sleek black uh, metallic packaging and then they do have a say right here in their brand purple, which is really great. You do have the names of the lipsticks at the bottom and then we have the lipsticks right here. I do love a slim lipstick tube. I think that those are the most travel friendly. They're the ones that I'm more prone to just like chuck into my purse. And I like that they have the color coded names on the bottom. Starting off with the shade Modern, this is the rosy nude in the collection. And then I will go ahead and do a hand swatch right there. That looks really pretty. If anything, it's just like a traditional lipstick scent. Let's put this on the lips. That's a pretty shade. You know, I love my rosy brown like nude shades. A good everyday shade for sure. Mm, and you can see how hydrating it is on the lips. That's nice. I like that. It feels nice. It feels really good. I wouldn't say it's uber, uber hydrating to the point where it's like a lipstick and gloss hybrid, but you can definitely see that it's not drying out the lips at all. It's not sinking into any fine lines and it just looks comfortable. It feels good. It pretty much feels like undetectable. It's very lightweight on the lips. So this again is the shade Modern. I can definitely see myself getting a lot of use out of this shade in particular. Wipes off very easily. You can see there, there's not really much of a stain, at least for that shade. And it is one of the lighter shades. So we'll see how they do throughout the rest of the swatches. Next we have the shade Dada or Dada. Um, it's a burnt terracotta. There you go. It's kind of more like pinky on me. Okay. We'll go ahead and apply this. All right, and here's the shade Dada, or Dada. I don't know how to say it, but here's that shade on me. For me, I think that this is a little bit more pink versus terracotta. When I think terracotta, I'm thinking something a little more brown, a little more orange. I can see a lot of people really liking this, uh, especially if you blot it on. Now, I put it full pigmentation, but I have a feeling that this will look really nice as sort of like a blurred lip stain. Now we have the shade Nuvea, which is a mid-tone brown. I'm very excited about this one. I think this will look super lovely. Ooh, yeah. Pretty. Definitely a good one for the fall and winter time. Okay, and here is Nuvea, or Nuvia. Why can't I say these names? <laughs> if you're around my skin tone, I would say that this is still nice if you want something that's a little bit categorized as a nude, but also it's a little darker, a little more grungy, you know? I think this would be a really good option. It definitely has a little bit of that grayish purple in it, but it doesn't seem too overpowering. I think that this would be so nice as a statement lipstick in the fall and winter time. If you're a darker complexion than I am, then this would be a really nice just like mid-tone brown on you but yeah this one is Nuvea. The lips do look very hydrated. It definitely feels more like a matte bullet lipstick, but it's not uncomfortable or drying whatsoever. And it's also not accentuating any of my lip lines, which is a big thing for me. You guys know I don't like anything that accentuates those lip lines, but this is looking really good. Every shade so far, and we're halfway through, has looked really nice on the lips. It just looks 
satiny, like a matte satin. Next, we have the shade Pop, which is a bright berry shade. So this one, definitely a very fun statement berry shade here. And what I wanna do is blot it on just to see what it would look like because I feel like blotted berry shades look so beautiful. And then I'll do a full pigmentation after that, like a full swipe for pigmentation. Let's just blot this. It blots on so easily. You barely have to press it onto the lips. So beautiful. It looks like a soft blurred lip stain. Like you put lipstick on like an hour or two ago and then it just slightly faded. That's what this is giving, but it's also very even in pigmentation. I'm not seeing it super blotchy anywhere. I love when something can give me a stained look, but it looks completely even all throughout top and bottom like and across i love it so this is pop as a blotted stain and now i'm just going to give it that full pigmentation so you can see already the difference in shade right there all right and this is pop with its full pigmentation i think it's beautiful either way i think that this is such a beautiful shade and i think it'll suit a lot of skin tones now we have the shade surreal which is a raspberry shade pop just stained a little bit on the back of my hand so let's swatch next to it oh that's pretty i'm also gonna blot this one <laughs> my lips are already kind of stained from the other shades though that's so cute that's super cute i like that i like that a lot this shade in color reminds me of the fenty beauty uh pouticle in the pink shade i think it's strawberry sangria once you wipe that off this kind of like stains the same way that one might be a little darker pink and this one might be a little more raspberry reddish pink and then full pigmentation now all right and here is the shade surreal this is a beautiful summer spring shade. I think that this with like a classic winged eyeliner would look very cute. And last but not least, we have classic, which is gonna be your classic blue red red shade. And then swatched on the back of the hand. Ooh, that's super pigmented. And then let's do a little blot again. Oh, this one is super pigmented. I don't know if it's cause it's a red. Effortless. It's gonna like, Rub it in. That's so cute. <laughs> There's something about like bright pinks and reds blotted on the lips that are just so youthful and really adorable on the lips. I think this is so adorable as a stain. It feels a little bit more drying than if you were to do this with full pigmentation, you know? But it's not uncomfortable. It just, it just feels like I need lip balm, I guess. And then let's do a full swipe. All right, and this is the shade Classic. This is such a beautiful red. It looks really nice. I think the finish is perfect for a red lipstick because it doesn't look super drying. It gives you just a hint of moisture on the lips. If you like red lipsticks, I think you will really like this one. Going over a little bit of my final thoughts. So overall, I think the colors that they chose to release with this collection are beautiful. There wasn't a single one that was off-putting for me, honestly. I feel like for once, the entire collection really suited my skin tone, which is exciting. I think they picked really fun shades, but they also chose ones that could kind of serve as everyday shades for a lot of people. I think it's an even like 50-50 of very neutral everyday shades and some fun pops of color as well. I love that these go on really well as a stain as well as just like a traditional lipstick that you swipe on and you get full pigmentation out of. I think that the pigmentation of the stain version of it was really nice because again it was even all throughout. It was easy to apply and it just looked really nice. I love two-in-one type of products and as you can see it kind of stained the back of my hand some of those last more bright shades did so I could see this kind of fading nicely throughout the day um, I don't think that it's transfer proof uh, let's see yeah <laughs> definitely not transfer proof that's so funny <laughs> definitely not transfer proof however 
it doesn't look like it really took anything off of there. Now, if you're like, you know, kissing someone or, oh my gosh, it's really stained on there. <laughs> I think if you're eating, if you're drinking, it is going to come off. So I wouldn't say that it's transfer proof. But I think that if you were going about your day, you know, occasionally taking a sip of something, um, and not really doing anything other than that with your lips. I, I think that this would stay on pretty nicely because the finish of them, they are that soft matte. So they're, they kind of remind me of a satin matte. So I find that those wear really nicely and they tend to last a little longer than just a traditional like glossy, you know, classic lipstick. I love that they blur my lip lines. I like that it's not sinking into anything. It's not feathering at all. I think it's the actual shape of the lipstick and just the way that they apply, but these really remind me of these Maybelline Ultimate lipsticks. If you guys haven't seen my video on these, I'll link it in the cards for you. I've done a swatch video on these as well. Let's just do a little comparison, not shade comparison, just like a comparison between the actual units. So they are both that slim packaging here. The difference is Maybelline has like the different shade as the outside, you know? This is what the Maybelline ones look like, and then this is what the Say one looks like. Very similar packaging wise. The size of the actual lipsticks are very similar as well. And honestly, I would say the finish is pretty similar. However, the Say ones are a little bit more hydrating. These are definitely matte lipsticks, but they have really great pigmentation. They wear really nicely and they last pretty long on the lips for, you know, a bullet lipstick. I think Say definitely has more moisturizing properties in them, but if you are looking for an alternative because you like that slim lipstick and you like this type of applicator versus like a more pointy lipstick shape, you know, that would be a good alternative. But overall, these Say ones are really nice. I love that Say is kind of like a very laid back, no fuss type of brand, you know? Every product that I've tried from them is just so effortless and it just gives you a little bit of something. It's very easy for someone like a regular consumer like myself to feel comfortable using their products and knowing that anything that they pick up is gonna work well for them. Like, I, I don't think that there's been a product from Say that I've tried yet that has completely turned me off. I think that this was a great lipstick launch, a really great first lipstick for them. Congratulations to Say. I They probably will never see this, but I mean, either way, congratulations to them. I will rank all six shades for you guys, which is kind of hard because I definitely liked all of them. There wasn't a single one that I, I would be like, this is definitely at the bottom, you know? So I'm gonna have to kind of think about it, but I will rank them either way for you guys. If you guys have any questions for me, if there's something I didn't cover in this video that you want to, me to answer, then let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and let me know if this is something that you guys are planning on picking up. That's everything for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.